Hi, and welcome back to the Reef Care Program. In this episode, we'll be looking at how corals feed, or in slightly more scientific terms, how they get the nutrition they need to fuel all of their metabolic processes. In the previous episode, we talked about the so-called photosynthetic corals, which are the vast majority, that have a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae algae and provide approximately 85% of the nutritional needs of their coral hosts. In this section, when I talk about coral nutrition, I'm referring to the remaining 15% not provided by the zooxanthellae and the 100% nutrition required by the so-called non-photosynthetic corals, such as gorgonia or sun corals, that do not have any zooxanthellae. First, let's look at the symbiotic relationship and meet the foodstuffs that make up coral nutrition. In simple terms, the photosynthetic zooxanthellae that live in the coral soft tissue metabolize the nitrates, phosphates, and carbon dioxide excreted by the corals and pass back to their coral hosts their photosynthetic byproducts, carbohydrates, amino acids, and fatty acids, which are all coral nutrients. Research has shown that corals also take up similar foodstuffs from a wide range of organic sources, such as the mucus from neighboring corals, bacteria, or flocks of proteins and fatty acids. Of course, corals can't bring the foods to themselves, so they can only benefit from dissolved organic matter that flows into their tiny oral disc, or gets synthesized through the soft tissue. So now we know what corals need. The question is, where they get them from? There are many coral foods on the market that include phytoplankton or non-marine zooplankton, such as Artemia or rotifers. These are all part of the food chain of fish farms, which makes them great foods for our fish. But do they actually do anything for our corals? Well, based on our own as well as published research, these foods are at best indirectly beneficial to corals. They tend to be inefficient, often decomposed, to add to the overall algae nutrients in the system, or are simply indigestible. Our research into coral nutrition in an artificial reef environment focused on isolating the individual nutritional components from conventional and non-conventional food sources that together provide all of the energy components that soft, LPS, SPS, and non-photosynthetic corals utilize for growth and coloration, and which require the least energy for digestion. We also investigated the effects of different feeding regimes on the various types of corals and water conditions. We discovered that while there are some differences in the nutritional requirements between the different types of corals, the most significant differences were in low algae nutrient systems, where increased amounts of coral nutrients are required to compensate for the lower supply of energy from the zooxanthellae. The result of this research is Reef Energy, a two-part formula which delivers the nutritional needs of all corals and other filter feeders. The two parts can be mixed together directly before feeding. Every component of the formula is available for direct consumption and absorption by the corals, which they use for protein production and soft tissue regeneration, so no unnecessary organic material is introduced to the system. Reef Energy A is a unique formulation of carbohydrates, amino acids, fatty acids, and suspended protein flux, which promote the microbacterial fauna that naturally populates the coral tissue. Reef Energy A stimulates extension of the polyps and soft tissue, helping the coral to optimize nutrient consumption by expanding its surface area for absorption. Reef Energy B is a highly concentrated complex that replenishes the exact vitamins and marine amino acids that are naturally produced by the zooxanthellae and are essential for the production of the chromoproteins that give each coral their unique colors. All of the components of Reef Energy B come from marine sources and are emulsified in a unique medium that enhances their solubility and absorption of the vitamins and acids by the corals. So that is how and on what corals feed, where the importance of efficient nutrition is an integral part of the complete reef care program. To learn more about the biological processes that are going on in your reef and the role of the other sub-programs in the RCP, 
See each of the episodes in this series. So get with the program and make the most of your reef.